Well, uh, we actually made the decision almost three months ago to do this, but the engineering from the state side, uh, the message boards, getting things prepared, getting the message out there that uh, these ramps were going to be closed at these specific times, takes time to plan. And you know what? And, and less traffic to start the pilot program to see what's going on. We're learning from that. We're learning from that. So there's nothing that says that maybe next uh, March, April, or May, we don't do this again with, with even heavier traffic to see the results. But uh, we, we, we want to be able to correct our mistakes and what we're doing and, and move forward from there. Yeah, and I liken it to if, if you ever see a restaurant opening, when they do the grand opening, that's not the same day that they open the doors for the first time, right? You do a soft opening, you work, you find out where the kinks are, what you need to work out, and then you do your grand opening. So this rollout, I think doing it in September actually makes a little bit more sense because you can imagine if we did this 4th of yeah. July weekend with huge traffic volumes, um, we would see some, a lot more problems on that. And so this also has us be able to better see how the local traffic patterns are, get those numbers for the cars that are going around. The, the state has counters, they're taking data out of this and learn from it. Like I said, there will be challenges and, and we're gonna learn from them. To watch the entire video series, please head to the QAC TV YouTube page. And while you're there, give us a like, a share and subscribe so you can hear about all the wonderful things going on in this county. Thanks for watching.